what's up guys my name is Urush welcome back hope you like what I did uh, me and my cat today will present you the reflect need to feel loved right bro and uh, yeah let's take a look at the elements first we have the kick drum and basically I'm actually using an auto filter here just to filter out the lower frequencies before the drop right here and I'm also using some glue compression on both kick and bass uh, let's hear how the bass sounds So that was for the filter aspect on the kick drum. I have just drum bus. Uh, let's play it from here. And also I'm using some utility just to control the volume. So the drum bus will get us some more volume and I'm using utility just to, uh, you know, make it the same uh, loudness. Uh, for the bass, I used Serum. I made a preset. I added some dynamic tubes, some overdrive, and of course, side chain compression. And the deal is we basically have two saw waves. Let's play it from here as we can. We have the lower frequency and the higher frequency, but this one is level, as you can see, it's quite lower. And we have the envelope two controlling the filter cutoff, right? We also have some distortion on it just to get a bit more nastiness to it, right? the kick and bass pretty simple and the bass is actually following the chord progression right and we're gonna talk about this uh, next uh, let's go to the strings or the chord progression so we have the strings here and we have chords uh, we have G major now uh, pardon me we have G minor and before we start dissecting this chord progression this is actually Dorian mode I made another video about that if you want to know more about Dorian mode you can check that on my other video but <laughs> anyways we have G minor then we have D major, then we have D, D minor, C major, and B flat major, right? The same chord, these chords are basically the same, this just has another voice, another note to it, right? So, which of these four chords, if you pause the video right now, which of these four chords tells us we're not in G minor, but we're actually in G Dorian? So, if you said C major, you're correct. And why is that, bro? Why is that? Okay. Let's just add a Spitfire Lapse here and let's just drop it in. Boom. Uh, um, and let's just, uh, let's just write a G minor scale, basic Aeolian minor scale. We have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. This is our minor G, G minor scale. <laughs> And if you want to get Dorian mode from this G minor scale, all we need to do is we raise the sixth note, so sixth note of the G minor scale. So let's count. One, two, three, four. Ah, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. We raise that one. And now we have instead of G minor, we have G Dorian. Right? It's a different vibe to it. It's a bit more relaxed vibe to it. And because we've raised that sixth note, also the chords, or one chord, now I think it, there are more chords, but that chord changes. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, bro, I love you too. Uh, so instead, before we had, in the G minor scale, we had C minor, right? We had that scale, but we, uh, not that scale, that chord. But, but because we raised the sixth note, we now have C major uh, chord, right? And in the in our track we have we have C major here right and that tells us okay bro we're not in G minor but we're in G Dorian so let's take a look listen at these chords at these strings And um, yeah, these are chords that are, chords that are basically repeating, 
Uh, and I used actually Native Instrument Session Strings. This is a, a kind of more like kind of quartet kind of vibe to it, right? Um, I also added some concert hall reverb and some vinyl distortion. In the original, I don't know how, it's quite long since the original track has been released. So in those times, let's say 20, 15 years ago, the, the sample libraries were pretty shit, right? So, I mean, compared to what we have today and you know, the probably like in the original track, it, it's not made by string players because it's so lush and it's so big that if, if, if it would, if it would be played by real string players, it would have to be like 30, 40 string players. And that's a lot of players and that's quite expensive. So I think it's more like something, some, some kind of pad or some kind of synth that it's actually playing, right? That, that has like those shrink kind of vibe to it. Uh, the second thing is I also added the cello. Right? And the cello, you will see how it sounds without the cello and with the cello. And cello kind of supports the whole thing. It's basically just one single note. But yeah, without the cello... Uh, pardon me. And now with the cello... Also using modula modulation here on the shrinks so that's why we're getting those like kind of wave kind of uh, like somebody would actually play the strings right we're, we're we're dipping in volume here and we're playing it again then we have some pads These pads are made in Omnisphere. I added some vinyl distortions, some auto pan to make it left and right to not be just in the center. And I also added some uh, pad higher, which you know already tells us it's going to be an octave higher. So basically, these these two pads are complementing uh, complementing each other, right? As you can see, right? They're not just sitting at the same register, but they're actually creating like almost a block of chords, right? As you can see uh, from this picture. And, you know, every single stuff is either duplicating or it's kind of complementing, right, one another. And that's why we get like this big... That's why we get this kind of big kind of sounding stuff, right, together with the kick and bass. But remember here it's filtered until the drop. And one thing I also did is I dipped down the volume. As you can see in basically pads and all this stuff so we're basically almost going to zero volume right especially here On the kick and bass, I have some glue compressor on it, uh, com compression on it, just to kind of make it. It's not a lot, it's really subtle, right? And on the strings, I don't have anything, right? I don't have anything. Uh, let's go to the groove section. I have some hi-hats here, right? Just a basic hi-hat. I have a hat called More Noise, and this is like the name suggests, it's More Noisy Hat. Because in the original, there's also a hat which, which ha kind of has more noise to it. Uh, we have a ride, which is also kind of ride slash clap here. So let's just solo that, right? And I also have some claps, which I think I I took them from Splice, I think, right? So all together, all the groove, and on the groove I have some saturation and some glue compression, right? Together with the kick and bass. So that's it then we have the synths and the synths are again following the chord progression like I mentioned before uh, and the synths I made in serum and like the main point is in this synth is this envelope 2 controlling the filter cutoff so we have like this kind of more plucky vibe to it also the filter cutoff 
is uh, automated, right? So we, we're automating it here. And also like this, this auto filter is also helping us automate it, right? And we also have seven unison and here two unison, right? So let's hear that. some saturation and some compression just to uh, basically when I open the filter it's not gonna you know spike the volume up three decibels or any kind of stuff like that right I want it to be kind of similar level even if I open the filter completely right uh, so that's it for the synths we also have the vocals right the vocals are taken from the original track <laughs> But they're going to work, right, bro? Come on, set me free, baby. Uh, and uh, yeah, then we also have like this plug tab, which happens here, and I made it in Serum as well. In the original, there's something similar. It's not like entirely the same, but I didn't want to spend like too much time, try, uh, you know, spending two hours trying to find this plug because that's what I did. Like, uh, you know, for some remakes, I would spend like an hour searching or two hours searching how to make that sound and it's just like bro you know it's okay it's like it, it's just like tutu. uh and yeah all together let's listen short tutorial quick remake it's not like you know entirely the same obviously but it's a it's an epic track and it's really well known so I wanted to I want to sometimes create these kind of classic songs right uh, if you want the project like I've said before it's on patreon you can also follow me on Instagram and say bro where the project at and I'm just gonna boom send it to you and uh, yeah it's always nice uh, you know with some of you that added me on Instagram bro I'm becoming such great friends with and I uh, really hope to see you one day as well. So thanks for all the comments, all the nice support, all the great wishes. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, right? Uh, we're not gonna go through the master track or any kind of stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Thanks for again for the support and talk soon, guys. <laughs>